Pretty extraordinary recovery. State emergency officials have turned over 5,000 pages of records about the fires. We put the request in some 18 months ago. The documents represent correspondence between TEMA as the fire hit and afterward as authorities tried to deal with the disaster. 10 News anchor Beth Haynes joining us now. Beth, one of those emails was sent the <coughs> night of the fires. Well, that's right, Robin. The email was a warning to TEMA officials in West Tennessee. It said forest fires have spread to downtown Gatlinburg. They are evacuating the city. Also parts of Pigeon Forge, several hotels on fire. The documents also include a wildfire report from the Tennessee Department of Agriculture Division of Forestry. It outlines the weather conditions the night before the fire hit Gatlinburg. It states strong gusty winds will develop today and persist overnight. It goes on to say seasonal temperatures and drier conditions return. Now we also learned in the hours after the fires, TEMA sent cadaver dogs and their handlers to Gatlinburg to search for victims. On November 29th, TEMA had already deployed six dogs and planned to send two more. That search continued for days. An email dated December 1st showed one body found. <coughs> Excuse me. The records um, that list the total number of buildings burned in the fires. They show a total of 2,460 structures were affected. That includes more than 1,300 in Sevier County, 1,100 in Gatlinburg, and 18 in Pigeon Forge. The majority of those buildings, more than 2,000 were homes. Now, with so many homes impacted, TEMA did note in the documents the need for long-term housing in Sevier County. That memo said there were two main issues. Number one, getting displaced people from temporary housing to work. It also stated there are not enough housing options within the Gatlinburg City to accommodate. And number two, families with multiple pets and those with unusual pets like monkeys and snakes are having difficulties finding houses. Now we will post what we've learned so far in these documents online at WBIR.com and we'll bring you updates as we continue to go through them. Robin and John. Beth Haynes with the update. Thank you.